So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to find the tangent plane and normal line to a given surface at a given point involving the gradient vector. Now in the previous lesson, we said that the equation of the tangent plane to a surface that is given by z equals f of x y at the point at the point p naught which has components x naught y naught z naught is given by the expression z minus z naught equals f x of x naught y naught times x minus x naught plus f y of x naught y naught times y minus y naught now in the previous lesson we go to the point that this expression gives the equation of the tangent plane the equation of the tangent plane to the surface given by z equals f of x y at the point p naught now in this lesson we are going to look at a more generalized form of this same equation thus considering the same surface which is given by z equals f of x y now this time we want to represent this function we want to represent this function in the form capital f of x y z equals c where c is a constant now to do so we are basically going to transpose z to the right hand side of the equation so that we have 0 equals small f of x y minus z now in this case we have c to be 0 and then capital f of x y z to be equal to small f of x y minus z thus we say that capital f of x y z is equal to small f of x y minus z and that is equal to zero now after doing this and then trying to find the equation of the tangent plane the first thing we need to do that is we need to find the gradient of the function notice that this time we want to find the equation of the tangent plane involving the gradient vector so we try to find the gradient of the function first and then secondly we find the gradient of the function at the given point that is at the point x naught y naught z naught and then lastly using the more generalized form of the equation of the tangent plane we try to find the equation of the tangent plane so that is given by the expression this time we have fx of x naught y naught z naught times x minus x naught so basically this is the more generalized form okay so generalized form of the tangent plane equation So, after discussing the equation of the tangent plane, let's move on to the equation of the normal line. So, to find the equation of the normal line, what we actually need to do is we need to obtain a point on the line. And then we consider we consider the point P0, which has components X0, Y0, Z0. I mean, this point is... A point on the line and also considering that the gradient vector or the gradient function is normal to the surface and hence it's going to be parallel to the line therefore we can find the equation of the line using this formula that is r of t to be equal to we have the vector which has components x naught y naught z naught plus t times the gradient of the function at the point x naught y naught z naught so basically this is how to find the equation of the normal line to the surface 
so equation of the normal line the normal line to the surface so at this point let's try an example so in this example we are going to find the equation of the tangent plane and normal line to the surface at the point p naught so we have the surface giving us x square plus y square plus z square equals 3 and then we have the point p naught equals 2 1 3 which means that we have x naught to be equal to 2 y naught to be 1 and then z naught to be 3 and notice that we have this expression in the form capital f of x y z equals c so first of all let's try to find the tangent plane equation so for the tangent plane for the tangent plane we know that the generalized form of the equation of the tangent plane is given by fx of x naught y naught z naught times x minus x naught plus so first of all we are going to find the gradient vector and in doing so we are also going to find fx fy and then fz at the point x naught y naught z naught so we know that the gradient vector of the function is given by the vector which has components fx fy and then fz so fx fy fz so let's try to find fx so for fx that is the partial derivative of this function with respect to x so we are going to differentiate with respect to x and then we keep y and then z as constants so we differentiate x square we have two x the rest are constants so they go to zero same for fy we differentiate this we have two y and also for fz we differentiate this we have two z therefore we have the gradient of the function having components 2x 2y 2z so next we are going to find the gradient of the function at the point x not y not z not which corresponds to 2 1 3 so we have the gradient of the function at the point 2 1 3 to be equal to we have 2 times x and that is we have x not to be 2 and then here we have 2 times 1 and then 2 times 3 so that becomes 4 2 6 so basically this is the gradient of the function at the point 2 1 3 next using this equation we are trying to find the equation of the tangent plane so from this equation we have fx of x not y not z not to be equal to 4 therefore we have 4 into bracket we have x minus x not which is 2 plus fy of x not y not z not is 2 so plus 2 times y minus y not which is 1 and then plus 6 times z minus z not which is 3 and that's equal to 0 now you realize that 2 is common to each term so we can divide through by 2 so that we have we have 2 times x minus 2 plus 1 times y minus 1 plus 3 times z minus 3 equals 0 so we are going to expand and simplify so this we have 2x minus 4 plus y minus 1 plus 3z minus 9 equals 0 so we are going to have 2x plus y and then plus 3z and then here we have negative 4 minus 1 which is negative 5 and then minus 9 
which is negative 14 equals 0. Now we are going to transpose negative 14 to the right hand side so that we have the left hand side equals 14. So this is the tangent plane equation to the surface at the point 213. At the point 213. So next we are going to find the normal line, the equation of the normal line. The equation of the normal line. So for the equation of the normal line, that is given by r of t, and we know it's equal to the vector x naught, y naught, z naught, plus t times the gradient of the function at the point x naught, y naught, z naught. So this is equal to, we are going to have the vector 2, 1, 3, plus plus t times t times now the gradient of the function at the point x naught y naught z naught is equal to the gradient of the function at the point two one three so that is given by the vector the vector four two six so we are going to multiply t across so here we have two one three plus 4t, 2t, 6t. And then lastly, we have, we are going to add corresponding components. So 2 plus 4t, 2 plus 4t, 1 plus 2t, and then 3 plus 6t. So basically, this is the equation of the normal line to the surface given by x square plus y square plus z square equals 3 at the point p naught. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye.